Sophia, don't you just love music? Yeah, especially the drums. Did you know there are many varieties of drums? My favorite would be the African drums. Yeah, I like the African drums. Wouldn't it be amazing to meet a professional? Yeah, that would be in interesting. Maybe we, maybe the professional will have a lot of things that we don't know about African drums. Wait a minute, we do have a professional. Really? Our special guest, Jay Stoller. So, if you want to see our interview, keep watching TV Kids. to the studio, Jay Stoller. Thank you. How are you doing today? Great, great. We have never interviewed an African drummer before, so we might have a lot of interesting questions for you to answer today. I'm ready. For the first question, what I'm really wondering about you is why did you choose to become an African drummer? That's a great question. <laughs> a lot of people ask me that same question. I first, uh, when I first had a chance to experience the African drums here in Winnipeg, uh, I was just, found myself really drawn to them and found them very interesting, very amazing. And I love the different sounds that you could make out of the drums. I love the rhythms and all the rhythms of the different drums fit together. And uh, that kind of drew me in and um, wanted me to, to learn more and experience more about African drumming. What inspired you to become a drummer? 
inspired me to become a drummer? Well, I guess I've always liked to, when I was younger, to be tapping on things and banging out rhythms when I'm listening to music. And I felt that drums would be uh, a great instrument for me to, to learn how to play. And uh, if you like making noise and, and hitting things, the drums are, are lots of fun. How did you find the experience studying in Africa? That was an amazing experience. Africa was just um, just such a different place, a different way of uh, of living and doing things, a very different culture. And I learned so much when I was over there. Uh, you know, in particular about the music and how the music fits in with the African. Uh, African culture and African society, how it's all tied together, and just a really great experience. Who taught you to play the drums and where did they teach you? Like? Well, when I lived in, in Africa, I was in the country of Ghana, and I actually went to university there. And they have uh, a special program at the university for people who want to learn more about African music. And in my university courses, I had a drumming teacher, and I had teachers on di some different types of instruments, a flute and a xylophone. Uh, they're all specialists in those instruments, and that was part of my, my studies when I was there. How is the music in Africa different from the music in Canada? Well, there's another good question. How is it different? Um, one of the main differences that I found is a lot of times the music when it's played in Africa is for a specific purpose. I found that a lot of our music here in Canada is music just to listen to for people to enjoy themselves, for maybe people to dance a little bit and party. But in Africa the music has a specific purpose. There may be a certain music that is played when a baby is born. And the music is meant for just that particular purpose. And there's another type of music that may be played when there's a wedding and that music is only played at that time. So the music has uh, specific roles to play in their lives. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about being a drummer? Favorite thing about being a drummer is uh, I would say being able to play the drums and seeing people who are listening to the music start to move their body as they can feel the beat and they start grooving around kind of like you guys were doing before. I think that's really neat to see people listening to the drum and, and moving their body. Can you tell us about the different styles of African drumming? How the different drums are made? Sure. Um, maybe if I can tell you about the drums that I have with me. There are so many different styles of African drums. Um, in the, the one country that I lived in, Ghana, there are probably more than 40 or 50 different types of drums belonging to each of the different ethnic groups. And this second drum that I played, uh, this is called a Panlogo drum. And the Panlogo drum is specific to Ghana. Essentially, it's a big hollowed out log. So it's empty on the inside and it's just carved, kind of like a barrel. And the top of the drum is a cow, skin from a cow. And these wooden pegs around the top, they hold that skin onto the drum. Okay. And uh, we heard the type of sound that it gets. Now, another very interesting drum, you can find these drums throughout some of the different countries in West Africa. And these are called talking drums. All right. And the talking drums are used to send messages and to communicate between the drummers and between the drummers and dancers. And there's two skins on the talking drum, there's a skin on both ends, and a wooden shell on the inside, which is shaped like an hourglass. And all of these ropes, which are actually made from animal hide, connect the two skins together. When you squeeze on the ropes, it pulls the skin on the front of the drum tight, and that changes the pitch. So when the skin is tight, the pitch is high. And when the skin is loose, the pitch is low. And the drummers can adjust the pitch of the drum to make it imitate their language. And by doing that, they're able to communicate with one another. And the third type of drum 
that I would like to show you is, this is called a djembe drum. This is a very popular drum throughout all of Africa. It does originate in West Africa. Like this drum over here, it's just a single log, just carved into a little bit of a different shape. Big on the top, but it narrows down on the bottom. And it's also hollow or empty on the inside. And this drum is covered with skin or hide from a goat. So different types of animal skins will get different sounds on the drums. And instead of using the pegs like this one, this one has the ropes that pull the skin onto the wood really tightly. So it gets a different sound. So those are three of the different drums that come from the country of Ghana. Do those um, white um, shell things affect like, the sound or something? Uh, actually, the shells are, I just put them on for decoration to make the drum look nice. These are called cowrie shells. It kind of looks like crab. Uh, yeah, kind of. Um, I've read in some books that like, some people use designs for, like, s like on the drums for, s for different purposes. Right, right. Um, yeah. Some of the drums that I have to the side do have some different decorations on them. Um, some of the designs are just to make the drums look nice. Um, a lot of the times, the drum makers really like to make kind of a, a piece of art that not only does it make music and you can play on it, but it's, uh, it's got the nice design that it could be a piece of artwork as well for, for someone to have in their home. Um, some of the designs have meanings. Some of them are just uh, different African animals. But, um, yeah, there's lots of, lots of work that goes into carving the, the pictures on the drums. Did you teach anyone else how to play drums? I do a lot of teaching on the drums here in Winnipeg. I go into schools quite often, and I bring drums for everybody in the, in the class to play, and we all learn about Africa and learn how to play the drums. And um, I also do some teaching of uh, adult classes. A lot of times adults like to play the drums too, because they're lots of fun. Um, so yeah. Have you ever been in a band? I am in a couple different bands. One group I'm in is called Nafro Dance. And this is actually a dance company. So we've got about seven or eight dancers, plus the full band of musicians that plays music for the dancers to dance to. And I've got uh, a drumming group that I work with called the Drum Cafe. And our drumming group performs traditional African drum music, and we've got some African dancers. And one of our favorite times of the year is performing at Folklorama during the summer. Mm -hmm. So that's two of the groups that I work with. Uh, we have been in the past in the Africa Caribbean Pavilion, and this coming summer we're hoping to be at the African Pavilion. So it's a couple different ones. Stay with us at TV Kids, we will have a workshop with Jay, Jay Stoller. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to play some African djembe drums. What I'd like you to do, as best you can, sit right on the front edge of the seat, your drum in between your knees. <clears throat> If you have long enough legs, see if you can angle the drum a little bit and cross your feet around the bottom. You got it. Uh, I think we're looking good. All right. Now the djembe drums are really neat because we can get different sounds out of the drum by hitting in different places. And we're going to start by playing in the middle of the drum. So right in the center. Can you do this uh, with your hand? Okay, I'm making a little curve there. And we're going to play one, two, three, four, and then switch to the other hands. The other hand. The important thing is to let your hand bounce up like you're bouncing a ball. Okay, don't let it stay on the drum. Just bounce, bounce four times on each hand. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four.
right. That's our first sound on the drum. That's our bass sound. Now I'd like you to move your hands back to the edge of the drum. Fingers together, thumbs sticking out to like that. On the edge of your drum, you know, fingers are going to give the drum just a quick slap and come up. We're going to do the same pattern, four on each hand. All right, here we go on the edge of the drum. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. four times on the edge. One, two, middle, go. One, two, three, four, edge. Middle. That's it. getting warmed up? Yeah. yeah? No? no? All right. I'm not sure what grade you people are in. Four, four three, five, four, and six. All right. Three. Does everybody here know how to count up to one? No. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I know Two. minus one. All right. We're going to try and count to one all together. All right. The important thing is all together. Okay. The middle of the drum. I'm going to count one, two, three, four, and then we all hit once and stop. Okay, see so we can do it exactly the same time. After four. One, two, three, four. Together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Switch to your other hand. Go. Boom. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two. Three, four. two, three, four. two. Three, four, now switching back and forth. We go right, three, four, left, two, three, four, right, two, three, four, two, three, four. I'm going to ask you to keep on playing that. Two, three, four. I'm going to play something else. Let's see if you can keep that going. Boom, 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 just the one hit. Finish with a big hit 
after four, three, two, one. Thank you for doing that workshop for us. It was a great experience playing on the African drum. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Now stay tuned on TV Kids for more fun to watch on Shaw TV Channel 9.